All right, now you can start talking. Okay. I'm going to make some, procure some eggplants for eggplant parmesan tomorrow. So I've already peeled them, and I've already sliced them, and I'm going to flour them and put them in this pan right here. First, I'm going to put a little bit of spray on it. Reaching the time of the year where a lot of the meals have a lot of uh, stuff that we've grown. And this, some meals have almost everything <laughs> what we've grown. This is a uh, flour with seasonal flour in it and uh, also some uh, garlic salt. But that I am putting all over them. A lot of people uh, fry these, but uh, to make to make an eggplant parmesan, or we'd make more of an eggplant lasagna. But we started baking them several years ago, and a whole lot less actually, greasy. Yeah, I actually like them better, <laughs> or at least I do. <laughs> probably end up using two trays of this. I'll do one at a time, but I'll. I'll bake them for about 10 minutes, and I'll flip them over, and I'll bake them for about another 10 minutes. I'll let them cool down, and then I'll I'll do the other one, because I usually do two pans of them. I'm just going to use one pan tonight. I'm not in a hurry. And these are eggplants we grew. These are ours. I have to typically grow eggplants kind of in a tub, because I use no-till. On almost every part of my garden. Yeah, and so, I like that kind of garden. And so flea beetles uh, just absolutely love my eggplants and will destroy every leaf on there. So uh, as a general rule, we have to grow them in a tub or something like that with some herbs that have a lot of aroma so that the, so that the uh, flea beetles leave them alone. My brother uses a great deal of mulch on his stuff and I Talk about having problems with flea beetles. He says, yeah, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so. Okay, this is my first pan, and I've got probably half a pan, three quarters of a pan left in there. So I'm going to put these in the oven. What temperature? At a normal oven. We put it in there <laughs> about 350, but my, my uh, temperature gauge thing is broken on my oven, so I have to watch it, make sure I don't burn it. We won't talk about that right yes. now. <laughs> it shorted out. We will get to it pretty soon, but not yet. Right now I've got cornbread in there. See? And as soon as that gets done, then I'll put this in there. I had to turn it off so it wouldn't burn my cornbread. Then I'll turn it back on. If it gets too hot, it just scorches the bottom. We also have, uh, we have peas cooking back there with some uh, bacon in them. And the bacon is store-bought, but the peas are from our um, uh, 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 rouse snake beans. Yeah, a we, we let them, we let let them, them go them. shell. And I shelled them, and that's what we got from them from last year. And, we and also we're having last year's corn, corn. Last year's uh, corn on the cob, because we're going to be having a lot of corn on the cob here in the very near future. We're having vegetables. <laughs> anyway. This is this part, and I'll, I'll let you see it when I get it done. This All first right. batch gets done. So, hope you enjoy watching it. If you enjoy it, subscribe to us, and uh, we'll would appreciate it. Thank you. All right. All right. We're going to have to reshoot a section of our video because every once in a while, my phone um, flips everything upside down. So, my wife was standing on her head cooking. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, this... Our... this was dinner. Uh, we ate already. <laughs> we already ate. <laughs> and it was good. Is it corn? <laughs> it's corn. These are our rattlesnake beans that were that We were let them shelled. dry. They were, they were allowed to dry and they sh we shelled them. And uh, they were frozen. They were going to be canned and they never got canned. Um, I just took them so out of the freezer and fixed we just, them. <laughs> so it's just 
will not fix them. And the cornbread. We ate the cornbread. I'm sorry, guys. And the cornbread <laughs> was really good, and so were the beans. Um, and there's our some of our tomatoes. And tomatoes from the yard. Uh, we already ate a bunch, and we sliced a few more so you can see how many I we sliced. That pretty. <laughs> this is the. And this is the eggplant that we're working on, and that's going to be tomorrow's dinner. Yes, the flour on it, but you can't. It's it's okay. You won't taste it. It'll blend right in and thicken up the juices. Yep. And, and I'm going to let that cool. It's not all yeah. the way cooled down yet. All right, one more pan to do. Then we will fix eggplant lasagna tomorrow. Yeah. And the beans are uh, just basically beans with a little seasoning and some uh, bacon to make them taste good. Because everything tastes better with bacon. Yes, it <laughs> so, does. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully this one will do upright. Because otherwise, I think I'm going to just scrap this video. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I could pick a, I could pick a batch about three times that size without trying, and uh, probably will tomorrow. So we may be putting up some videos on what we're going to do with those tomatoes. So just one more addition to the video.